In a way, it was destined for us to be wrong. I had sort of done the whole foreshadowing thing a little bit too much, unknowingly. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Astroneer, episode 57. I'm Thranxes, and this is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and call the shot, our finale episode. It's It's been fun. It's been a wild and crazy journey. But we don't have enough hydrogen here on this planet. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? We, we actually need hydrogen. Now, I don't even think necessarily that we have hydrogen. I'm sure we have some. But, <clears throat> yeah, what is that? One. We have one. And I'm not sure if the gateway here really requires one or two. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to make some room. We're going to go gather some hydrogen. Enough to have two as we go to the core. And then we're going to come back. Where are we going to get these things from, you ask? Oh, we're going back to Glacio. Glacio, Glacio, that's where we're going. Right there. Still got plenty of fuel on board the shuttle to make this journey. Woo! So that's not really a problem. Let's, uh, let's land on our base there. Thank you. We are going to need another drill, unfortunately. Unless we're going to walk ourselves down to the core. I think we all know... That's not how I'm going to do it. Look at that. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Scrap. Yeah. Exactly. Do we need all this helium? We don't need all this helium. Do we need all of this stuff? We don't need all of that stuff. In fact, we're just going to bring some extra hydrogen, just in case. Let's bring four just to be thorough. And this is going to be where we box up our large rover because we're just going to package up a large rover and go. That's what we're going to do. I'm not even going to bother with all the other stuff. The portable oxygenator and all that. We're, we're going to get it back. That, that stuff is going to be returned to us. And we will eventually get a drill, but... We need titanium alloy and a diamond. Hmm. Well, a diamond is double graphene, so we're going to need more hydrazine. This may prove slightly problematic. We don't exactly have a lot of graphite laying around. But at least we do have hydrazine ready and made already. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take another page out of the Let's Do the Easy Mode book. And that is, let's go ahead and request more graphite for scrap. I really can't see a reason not to. Just for the sake of doing it in a way that's easy. Work smarter, not harder. That's what they say. And then the other thing we need besides double graphene is titanium alloy. So titanium, yet another graphene, and nitrogen. Which nitrogen we should have, which we do. And we'll have the graphite. We will need another hydrazine. And then the titanium. Which really should be around here. A lot of tungsten, it turns out. 
Not so much on the hydrazine. Or the titanium. No, we, we do have plenty of hydrazine. So many resources to keep track of. All right, let's package this up and get this on our ship. Just like that. And then one of these should be titanium. Boom, right there. Okay. Listen to that wind howl across those icy slopes. I think three graphite for now will do it. All right, let's start with the graphene. Gonna need three of these all day. The drill level three being probably the biggest loss. The rover's a pretty big loss, but we have plenty of them. And those are the only two things really that we need is the drill, the rover, and an RTG. And we'll be back down there in no time. Did we not grab a third hydrazine? I could have sworn we did, but apparently we did not. Perhaps I'll just snatch one right off our shuttle. Nope, no I won't. We'll take this one. Whee! Okay. Let's try graphene number three. And we've got titanium alloy. And then we just need to make the diamond. Bingo. Very good, very good. Okay, so let's take our titanium alloy. And our diamond. And we'll make a drill. Strength three. Wonderful. Then over here we can just grab one of these extra coppers. In a way, it was destined for us to be wrong. I had sort of done the whole foreshadowing thing a little bit too much, unknowingly. <laughs> Some accidental foreshadowing about how certain I was it was going to be nanocarbon alloy. And lo and behold, it of course wasn't going to be something easily obtainable from that system. No, no, no. That might have made sense. I'm not going to bother bringing anything else. I think we're just going to go back with this. This is plenty good. Let us launch and be done here. We've got our hydrogen, we've got our rover, drill, light. And that is that. Time to go back. But hydrogen. Hydrogen I could not predict. But it's fitting. It's fitting that we go through this because this gives us a reason to have all of these resources and all of this infrastructure on Glacio that we can literally just go back there and be like, boom rover, boom drill, and we still have plenty of RTGs and we're good to go. Let's, uh, let's see if I can do this properly here. I'm trying to remember if it's the northern one or the southern one. There are two. Let's try that one. Let's try the one on the right. I just got a little drink of my water here. Hey, look at that. We chose properly. Very good. Now... This being said, we're going to have another rover sort of locked down into the core. <laughs> All manner of pollution down there. As we just constantly... Constantly build rovers and dig down there. 
But we need two hydrogen, and we will need one RTG, which... I honestly thought we had a spare that we were kicking around. Now I'm not so sure. But I know we have a doubled up trade station. So other than atmospheric gases, we should be able to get whatever we want here. Look at that. So much scrap. Uh, we are going to need, what did I say, a rover chair, right? So that's compound. We can get that going, a little rover seat action. And rather than take this 3RTG setup that we have, knowing that we have the final nanocarbon alloy and a lithium to make this happen, we're going to construct a brand new RTG. Just to ensure that we don't have to disturb the base. And we've used our last nanocarbon alloy. So at this point, if we did want to make more, it wouldn't be a massive process, but it would take a little bit of ferrying resources around. Notice, though, we have enough helium to make more than we could ever hope for. There's your power. And there's your chair. Okay. Okay, I will, uh, and we've got our hydrogen on hand, and that's really all we need. But I'll bite. I'm going to make a large storage for the back. Right? And then what we're going to do is fill it full of medium storage, because why the heck wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? It's just going to give us that much more to hold on to as we're tunneling down into the core. And we have the space. It seems silly not to when we have the space. All right. Large storage on the back. Followed by medium and medium. Plus, I sort of like the way the rover looks with these little they're almost like wings coming off the side. Like, it, it, it could just pick up and fly. An atmospheric vehicle would be cool. Like, not just a shuttle, but if there was a way to fly across the planet, that would be really neat. Alright, and we've got our two hydrogen. And that's the most important part. So from here, we dig down. Straight down. Let's do it. Down, 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 down. Let's see how let's see how fast we can get down in record time. Let's see if we can set a record. Nope, we're just gonna keep the drill on. Hold on, we high centered. Yep, we did. Oh no. No. Wait, I don't have the Oh, I don't have the drill mod. How dangerous. What a dangerous game we play, Thranxes. What a dangerous game we play. So we need to not get this vehicle stuck, because we cannot free it out with our own drill. Let's go. Down. Keep digging. It's not straight down enough, Captain. Continue. It's like a race to the center of the planet. And look how we're not getting any resources at all. No, don't get stuck. Don't do it. Continue to dig. There you go, sir. We're getting quartz and ammonium. That's fine. But can you dig further down? Okay, this might not be a problem. And we're gonna leave that gonna leave that generator there actually. Hop in the rover seat before this thing falls. 
This is our lifeblood here. If this thing goes, then we are in a bad way of having to start over. And we're going to continue to dig down. Down. Straight down. All right, there's an obelisk. And look at all that astronium. I'm tempted to gather that up in case there's ever an update that adds content to this game we want to explore, and it requires more bites of research, but I suppose it would be easy enough to do that when the time comes with all of our infrastructure in place. That being said, I think we still might just gather some for the fun of it. I mean, after all, look how much is here. <laughs> Look at it all. All right, back up, back up a little bit. Let's. There we go. There we go. Whoa. It's the richest astronium vein ever. And now we've pretty much maxed out our storage on astronium. And we're into the core. Other than the quartz in the back, there is so much astronium on the back of this vehicle. Look at that, and we ended up kind of right at the same point as our other rover. What are the odds of that? Oh, climb up, climb up. Yes. Victory is ours. <laughs> look at all that beautiful astronium and oh yeah, okay, let's get our let's get our gear to get in order here, right? So one of these, one of these. The hydrogen we're gonna put down there. I do want double batteries. My mods, right? Boost drill wide. A couple of packagers, couple of those. Let's actually replace that, and this will be... That'll be done soon enough. Let's deposit our hydrogen and get our triptychs. Alright, here we are. It does take a whole one. Glad I brought two. Alright. Thank you for that. And here we are. First one, docked. We can leave these packagers behind. Boom. The gateway is complete. All right, before we go any further, let's get let's step into the light and let's take a peek at what we've unlocked here, okay? So we've got the radiated suit and the Aatrox colors. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. Sort of a radioactive type situation. Sure. And then, ah, the galactic suit is still locked. We still have these two locked and that mask locked. Uh, but we did get, what, another dance. It would have been... Which one do I not recognize? Crisp Princess, perhaps. <laughs> Nice! Okay. Alright, I approve of that. I accept those terms. Let us... Let's grab a light so we have our own light. And sure, we'll grab the soil too. Why not? Alright. But next on our list... Is... Well, hold on. Uh, I don't know if I want to end it like this very, very second. In, in just a moment, just a moment. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know anything. I'm a little whatever, so I want to come over here and I want to make sure 
just that we've dropped off our stuff and we don't have anything too ultra important on us. Okay, we'll unpack and shred the generator. And then we don't need to take these batteries with us. I'll take the light just so I can see. We don't need this nanocarbon alloy to come with us or this soil. Let's actually put these on the shuttle so they don't get lost. Okay, so the power, oxygenator, light, triptych, that looks good. We'll go ahead and give up. Uh, you know what? I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's just... Oh, but do I really want to give up my mods? What if... No. No, we're going to keep the mods with us. I want to be self-sufficient. Actually, in that regard, I want to have the batteries on me, too. Hold on, I've changed my mind. And I need a soil canister. I've changed my mind about everything. So the only thing I really wanted to drop off was the, was the scrap and the nanocarbon alloy. So let's fill up our soil canister. This way we can bridge if we need to. We have battery. We have oxygenator. Okay. To the core. And then from the core... Whoa, whoa. From the core, we shall travel to... The... Space Station Platform... It is. The moment we've all been waiting for. There it goes. Oh, wow. No, they're out of sync. Hold on. It should catch up. Ah, there we go. All we had to do is back out to the main menu of the game and then go back in. Look at that effect. This is it. Unclassified mineral. We're going to activate it. Oh, you got to hold it down. Oh, uh-oh. What did we do? Oh, my. Oh, they would have all lined up anyways. Uh oh. What does that mean? Oh no. Failure. Don't do it. We've worked too hard. Oh no. What the heck does that even mean? And why couldn't we get to the space station before? What is that thing? Oh, snap. And look, they left the burrito laying on the desk. Okay. There you go. Nice little memorial there, there for Paul. System Arab team would like to thank our families for their support, encouragement, love, cookies, and patience. We'd also like to thank our friends, colleagues, mentors, astroneer fans, and everyone who cheered for us along the way. And I didn't read it fast enough. But hopefully you could pause the video and read it. And there we are. So now we, we've ended up right back here on Silva, which, my goodness... Look at this place. Humble beginnings, right? Beacons all over the place. 
Not sure how to travel. Not near any gateway. Color is all messed up. The things that we could have done. But let us go ahead and put down our light. I don't think we want to put it down like that. So that we can get a good look at our new unlock. Because I'm sure we've unlocked something here. Let's try it. Um, oh, we did get a galactic coloring, so let's go galactic suit, galactic coloring, and then the galactic visor. Ooh. Pretty spiffy there, actually. Oh, look, it's like, oh, it's like the material the portal is made out of. Nice. Nice. Pretty snazzy. And I guess that's how you can show off that you've actually taken the time to beat the game and unlock everything. Uh, but wait, um, actually, hold on. Was there another dance? So it looks like the only thing we didn't unlock is this color. Interesting. Little kicks is locked. And then I think, did we unlock all the other ones? Twist it up. Nice. I accept that. I accept these terms. So then the last suit, as it turns out, the last coloring of the suit, is kind of a blingy, shiny one that can only be unlocked with the completion of all the achievements. And as it turns out... I'm looking, I don't see an easy way in-game to view your achievements, but that's basically what it is. So you have to do every achievement to get this final one, and it's very like gold and silver and chrome and fancy, so... But that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up the Astroneer series. This is where it's going to end. We have effectively completed the game. If there's ever new content added in the future, we may come back and visit it. Uh, but the series is effectively over at this time while I contemplate what the next game will be. Thank you so much for joining me and everyone that enjoyed the Astroneer series. I hope you've had a great time watching because playing this game was a lot of fun and of course if you haven't heard about the trials and tribulations that the development team dealt with while they were making this game it actually um it's a it's a pretty pretty sad story but in the end they they still made this really awesome game and so i felt like because the game is so fun and they they persevered they they definitely deserved to have their gameplay showcased and uh, it was a lot of fun playing it. I will see everyone in the next series. But until then, take care.